Hello, everyone, and welcome to this short presentation about mapping of cortical network responses onto data-driven features that capture visual semantics of movie fragments. The majority of studies on neural encoding of visual semantic information rely on reductionist approaches with carefully constructed sets of experimental materials and test designs. Undoubtedly, we have learned a lot about how the brain processes visual information from these studies. Yet, like many other researchers in the field, we believe that much can also be learned from naturalistic experimental paradigms that use naturalistic material, such as films and audiobooks, when collecting brain data. We believe that we can leverage advances in computational modeling, computer vision, and natural language processing to extract high-level semantic information from low-level visual input and investigate how this information relates to the associated brain activity. In this study, we set out to test that, and we asked ourselves a number of questions. First, can we extract interpretable, high-level semantic information from low-level perceptual input? Second, do these extracted features explain the associated brain activity? Third, what cortical maps are associated with individual high-level semantic features? And lastly, can we provide support for classical theories of visual object and scene recognition in the brain using these modern computational tools? In this study, we used an intracranial EEG dataset in which 37 electrocorticography patients watched the short audiovisual film. We extracted high gamma traces from the data and investigated how they relate to high-level semantic information extracted from the visual stream of the film. For this, each film frame was passed through a number of steps. First, a pre-trained visual concept recognition model. In this example, frame one is labeled with words people, house, child, girl, and so on. We applied manual correction to the model output, corrected some mistakes, and reduced a number of relevant visual concepts to 129. Next, for each label, we looked up its numerical word embedding in the fast text word embedding model. Per frame, we averaged word embedding values over all frame-specific labels, which resulted in one semantic vector per frame. Finally, we applied the principal component analysis to reduce the dimensionality of the semantic vector to 50 values. The resulting semantic vectors we used in a linear regression model fitted to predict high gamma brain activity from the film watching experiment. First, we found that the components of the visual semantics extracted using a combination of computer vision and natural language processing tools were highly interpretable. We found a semantic dimension that encoded human presence in the frame. It had high values for frames with people in them and low values for frames with outdoor scenes without people. Another semantic dimension encoded human motion and another dimension encoded human faces specifically. Using these semantic dimensions, we were able to model brain activity in lateral occipital, inferior parietal, temporal, and inferior frontal cortices. Clustering linear regression weights allowed us to find groups of electrodes with similar semantic encoding profiles. For example, cluster 1 showed peak activity in response to frames with human faces and exhibited dips in activity in the absence of human faces. This cluster consisted of electrodes in the fusiform gyrus bilaterally and posterior temporal cortex on the left. Other clusters showed specific tuning to the presence of people in the frame, biological motion, static scenes and landscapes, and other semantic components. Each cluster involved a distributed network of cortical regions, many of which have been previously implicated in this type of high-level visual processing using classical reductionist approaches. In addition to these findings, we show that high-level semantic visual information arises gradually from low-level perceptual input as the similarity between the semantic components and layers of the visual object recognition model increases from earlier layers to deeper layers. Finally, in reaching high-level visual in information with semantic word embedding information provides a better fit for the brain activity throughout many regions in lateral occipital, temporal, and frontal cortices. In this study, we show that using a combination of computer vision and natural language processing tools, we can extract interpretable high-level information from low-level perceptual input. This high-level semantic information explains brain activity in areas associated with visual, semantic, and language processing. Overall, we show that using modern data mining tools can provide support to classical theories of visual, object, and scene recognition and has potential to deepen our understanding about how the brain extracts and processes meaning.